The elements of loop microsurgical exercises were designed to provide a platform for improving surgical skills in the operating room through the repetition of simple maneuvers with microsurgical instrumentation. These exercises were designed to improve coordinated use of microforceps and needle driver, hand-to-eye coordination, suturing accuracy, cutting ability, finger-wrist dexterity, as well as ambidexterity. The first exercise tests angle face suturing. Note the pre-punched needle hole targets. Secure the model to the table with tape as shown. Place the needle through the pre-punched holes. The objective is to pass the needle through the prescribed target holes, emphasizing proper rotation of the needle driver. It is important to rotate the wrist to control needle angle and to stabilize the needle on a finger before reloading. It is also important to practice first for accuracy, not speed, and then accuracy plus speed. The second exercise is parallel face suturing, which also tests suturing ability using two pliable needle hole targets. The model should be secured to the table as shown. Place a roll as a wedge between the two needle hole targets. The objective is to pass the needle through the prescribed target holes in the paper model, using the forceps to move the edges of the paper to help coordinate proper needle placement. Help to stabilize the needle on a finger during needle reloading. It is important to work first for accuracy and then for accuracy plus speed. The next model is the scissor cut base exercise. First fold the edge of the paper to elevate the target area. Secure the model to the table with tape. It is important to stabilize the scissors with the contralateral hand. The objective is to test the ability to cut the lines accurately using micro scissors. As always work first for accuracy then accuracy plus speed. The fourth exercise is scissor cut with removal. Again, fold the paper along the pre-marked line. In this model, note the thin and thick lines. As in model three, cut the thin lines with the micro scissors. In this model, excise the thick lines. Cut on either side of the thick line and remove. Use the forceps to help elevate the thick line. The fifth model is the rice transfer exercise. Transfer each grain of rice one at a time without touching the black lines. This exercise tests dexterity with the micro forceps. As before, work first for accuracy, then accuracy plus speed. Model 6 is the rice transfer via hole exercise. Using the micro forceps, pass each grain of rice through the small hole. It is important to roll the forceps by rotating the fingers, not the wrist. Thank you for your time and attention.